of something I haven't done in a while because I've been reading so much, um, a makeup review for you. Uh, and I do have my glasses on. Usually I take them off for makeup videos, but I've been reading so much my eyes hate me right now, so you get my glasses. This is the L'Oreal Paris Chromatic Bronze Highlight and Contour Palette. So it's got four shades. I consider three of them highlighters and one a contour or bronzer because three of them are shimmery and one is not. Um, so you've got Target Me, Last Step, After in Paris, and Drive Me Crazy. It shows you on the back the shades. I got this at Ulta. I think I did a video of a haul that I use mostly points for. Um, so I'm glad I got this. I'm glad I used points on it instead of spending the like $15 or whatever it is. It is nice though. Um, I really like this contour. Alex really likes it on me too. I've got this, these bottom two on today. So it's kind of hard to see on camera, but I really like this contour. It's a little bit orangey-ish, but it's not orangey enough to say that it's orangey. Um, it's really pretty. I like it. It's not my favorite bronzer ever, but I do like it a lot. This one I thought was just going to be flat too dark, but it actually looks pretty decent today. This one is just way too pink for my taste, but I really like this one as well. It's really, really pretty. Um, this blends really well. The bronzer blends really well, and it's not, um, it's buildable. It doesn't start out as just bam. It lets you build it up to the way you want it. I really like this whole palette. Um, like I said, I'm glad I didn't spend the $15 on it just because I'm leaning away from getting products like this. I'm leaning more towards highlighter palettes and even not even so much though as singles. I'm leaning more towards singles so that I get specifically what I want. So... If I bought this as singles, I would buy this one and this one, but I'd skip these two. But I can make use of these two because I got the palette. Um, I'm just, I'm, tr I did like getting palettes, face palettes, and particularly highlighter palettes a lot more because you get more shades for less money. But unless it's the kind of thing that, like, I love this formula and I want every single shade and I'll find a way to use it. I'm happier getting specifically what I want. My highlighter drawer is less happy because it's exploding, but I'm happier. Overall, I really like this palette and I would recommend it if it sounds at all interesting to you. I would recommend checking it out. The formula is nice, the shades are nice, they blend well, they're buildable. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Questions, comments, opinions, have you guys gotten this one? Do you want to try it? Um, do you? Like I said, have you gotten it? Do you like it or not? Let me know down below. You know I love discussing things with you guys. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.